all right today we are going to uh, solve the product pricing non-linear problem at first you need to download the files so you can go to navitabrugly.com there you can go to ms 460 google drive in the left file you can see the product pricing non-linear file so there you can see the problem and the template and you can practice i have already downloaded that so that's the question I will start the solution. So <coughs> this is quite tricky, but it shouldn't be unit cost of a product is true. Unit spot. Gain value. So I'm going to put this. So I'm saying it's like a 0.5 decrement. So cumulative is the first one, fine. Second one is the first two and so on. So that's the cumulative value. Now <coughs> We have to find out the, the discount. So for the discount, we need a cutoff. So for example, the cutoff is five, and unit price separate ten, and low price is two. So that's what we do, and we keep some name. Cut high price and low price. So what we do, need to do is to find out the prices. So if gain is less than or equal to cutoff, then the price should be the unit spot multiplied by the or if that's not the case then cut multiplied by the high price plus unit bought minus cut multiplied by low price and the consumer surplus is price paid minus The value minus price. But we need to find out the max surplus. So for that, we use max and we get the one which is the maximum value. Now, the unit spot. So we have to find out the unit spot where we have max. So we find out that. So we use uh, concept match but before that if surplus is equal to uh, less than equal to zero then import zero otherwise we use match match local value and match type zero exact you can see where is the 424 at 16 so we get that and revenue on that particular unit part so if 6 equals to 0 then 0 otherwise we look up so that's a look up array We need to find out the price. Sorry, the lookup value, lookup value, lookup array, index and the match. So when we bought 16, then what 
Sorry, sorry, we know. Sorry, 72. Yep, we got it. The cost should be unit part multiplied by the unit cost. And the profit should be revenue minus cost. Now, we need to solve it. So, we go to data. We have a solver. So, definitely our target is to maximize the profit. by changing variable these three. Now what we have some like assumption, extra assumptions that all these values should be between zero to twenty and the cut of quantity should be integer. So all these should be between zero to twenty. So we add that. So all these values should be greater than equal 0 add all these values the cut off should be less than equal to 20 and the cut off should be integer so we add those constraints we can mark non negative but we if we don't that's fine no problem the solver should be evolutionary, not nonlinear or simplicity evolution. So, if we do that, it's, 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 it's a solving method which will provide a lot of lot of um, uh, results. But the main aspect is whether the model is right. So, if we solve, then. And if we solve, then we see the results there. So if we continue, if we, we, we want, but if we stop, we can do that. So if we stop, we get the So that's the result of this model. Thanks for watching.